in New York City today at the USS Intrepid Museum. I'm standing under the Enterprise Space Shuttle. This is the rear view of it. With all the space tiles. And over here is the Perseverance Rover. They launched July 30th, 2020, landing February 18th, 2021. Perseverance has a storage capacity where they're going to return some of the Mars rocks in the future. They don't know how they're going to do it yet, but they're storing it on board. They're picking up certain rocks they want to look at and storing them. And at a later date, they're going to ship them back to our planet. Again, they're still working that out, but they're taking possession of the rocks and putting them in one of the cargo holds on Perseverance. They did a little neat kind of cool thing with Perseverance, they um, took a microchip and, in, in, and engraved inside that microchip uh, several million names. One of my daughter's names is on that chip and my name is on that chip. It was a project that came to us probably five or six years ago and we just basically logged on, put in some credentials and we've been following the Perseverance ever since. I believe it was sometime when she was maybe in high school when the, when the project came out. And this is a model of the uh, replica of the helicopter that's on Mars, which is working with Perseverance. And it's the first helicopter uh, testing the Martian atmosphere. First flight was April 19th, 2021, to test the first power control flight on another planet. Ingenuity is the name of the copter, little helicopter. Ingenuity pitched a ride to Mars with the Perseverance rover, weighing just four pounds on Earth. The helicopter was designed with counter-rotating carbon fiber blades, allowing it to fly in the very thin Martian atmosphere. So again, it's paving the way for the for the next bigger models. This Perseverance is as big as a car. Very amazing. And here's the stories of the NASA Space Shuttle fleet. So you got the Enterprise, the Columbia, the Challenger, the Discovery, the Atlantis, and the Endeavor. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six total. As Endeavor, missions flown 25, time and space 299 days, 4,700 orbital flights. Atlantis, 33 missions, 307 days, 4,800 mission hours. All right, the total orbits flown 4,800. Discovery, 39 missions. 365 days in space, 5,800 orbital flights. Challenger, 10 missions, 62 days in space, 995 orbits flown. Columbia, 28 missions, 300 days, 4,800 total orbits. Enterprise, which is located here. This is the Enterprise. Time and space, zero. Orbits flown, zero. Again, it was the, the, the one they tested for all the components. Each one of these orbiters are 60 feet long with a payload bay, a robotic arm to deliver satellites into Earth orbit, somewhere between 115 to 400 miles up. But again, the Enterprise was a con tested the concept of reusable spacecraft 
that could land like an airplane plans to modify it for space flight would never be realized instead five other orbiters were built Let's see where they're all located now. Current location of the Endeavor on public display at the California Science Center in Los Angeles. Not sure if I saw that one. Let's see, the current location of Atlantis is it's a Kennedy Space Center visitors complex in Florida. I'm not sure if I've seen that one there either. The Discovery, which I have seen, is Discoveries on Public Display at the National Air and Space Museums. Stephen F., and I'm gonna get this wrong, Ludvay. Hazy, Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia, which is basically Dulles. Challenger, Challenger Perished, and Columbia Perished. Enterprise is located at the USS Intrepid Museum.